Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, is natural bodybuilding worth it? Is it worth it to train naturally for years to bodybuild, to be a natural bodybuilder? Well, I've been doing it for over 13 years and in this video, we will discuss the pros and cons and you'll know at the end if it's worth it or not. Now, when I say all natural, it means no SARMs, no peptide, no uh, pro hormones whatsoever, nothing, all right? I know some people that would say, well, I'll just take P uh, SARMs or peptides. Well, you're still not natural. It doesn't it's not limited to just injections of steroids, all right? So SARMs, anything of those things, it's PEDs, it's not considered natural. Yes, protein, creatine, it's all right. Of course, it's supplement, pre-workout, but I'm not talking about those stuff, all right? So all natural bodybuilding, is it worth it or not? First pro is that you're not dependent on a drug for your performance, for your strength. When people are on cycle, they're taking performance enhancing drugs. Well, it will affect their look, it will affect their strength, and they're kind of dependent on that drug that they're taking to help them perform a certain way, to help them look a certain way. When you're natural and you've been, let's say, benching, I don't know, three plate, and you achieve that goal, it's really all you. You can't be, well, it's because, uh, I don't know, I took this meal or this. No, it's because you worked your way up there, and now you have kind of that strength within you that you will be able to maintain uh, on the long term, all right? So you'll be able to bench that certain amount even more a uh, couple months from now, if you keep training, of course. Now, so that's the first thing, you're not dependent on anything. Second pro of staying natural is that your body doesn't fluctuate as much. When people are on cycle, we see them, sometimes they're just huge, the veins coming out of everywhere. I, I know a guy down the street, his veins, his traps, his shoulders, they looked insane. I saw him a couple weeks later and he looked like a shadow of what he was. I was shocked. Seriously, I'm like, are you still training? Are you okay? Are you eating? But the reality is that he was just off his cycle and the body fluctuated so much. As opposed to being natural, during the lockdown, I basically reduced my training to 50% of what it was. All I was doing was body weight, a little bit of pull-ups, pull-downs, uh, sorry, pull-ups, push-ups, lunges. I had a little bit of dumbbells, but trust me, my body did not regress. It actually progressed, all right? As crazy as it may sound, why? Because I gained uh, those muscles, I gained my progress, my gains were all natural. So you maintain them longer. Of course, if I stop training for years, I will lose some because of the muscle glycogen that is not anymore in my muscles, I'll lose water. But the reality is that you will maintain that look a lot easier. People would see me year long and they will always be like, you're always in great shape, all right? It's thanks to natural training, okay? If I would be one day on a cycle looking so huge and people would see me again now, they'll be like, hey, there's a huge fluctuation and the body changes so much. All right, number three, well, it was kind of the same as number two I spoke about, it is maintaining the gains. So when you're, let's say on cycle, you have to go for a trip for a month where you're not be able to work out, your body changes so much and you're not maintaining those gains. But as opposed to uh, when you're natural, it's a lot easier to maintain, we just spoke about it. Now, number four, when you're natural, you don't go through those crazy mood swings. All right, the PCT, the ups and downs, the emotions all up in the air, it's actually the opposite because when you've been training natural for years, you built also the mental strength, the mental toughness that is helping you stay calm. Doesn't matter what happened in life, you're kind of always calm and collected and trying to stay kind of uh, grounded. And trust me, when someone's been training natural for years, I know that the mental strength is just insane. All right, as opposed to people that are on cycle, I've seen that my cousin, I don't even know, I, he, he never told me if he was on cycle or not, but one big thing it was that he used to get those anger issues and go from zero to 100 and ready to break everything in the house and then kinda, oh, well, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have, and it's like, whoa, it's insane, and that's what people call road rage. Well, as a natural, we do not go through that. Now, number five, and this is one of the biggest reasons why I wanna always stay natural and I encourage you to, is that you keep the passion for training, for the gym. I'll explain myself. I used to train with a guy at the YMCA maybe five, six years ago, all right? He used to compete. He took the growth hormone, the steroids, all of the, all of the stuff and he just got huge, he got insane. The pumps he was getting were insane. We were training sometimes together, super strong, all right? His strength went up. People just looked at him as Superman. People stopping him in the street, I swear to God, just to be like, whoa, all right? Then what happened when he stopped that cycle? Well, he became a shadow of himself. So now he goes to the gym and 
half of the weight that he used to be using so let's say 150 pounds is heavy now the pump is not the same the look is not the same he looks in the mirror and he's like whoa what is this because he you he was used to being superman and now he's just a regular guy so he goes from that high to this and then he's like oof i don't want to be training anymore because he loses passion for natural training he loses passion for the sport the whole passion of it was taking the drugs and looking at his body progress and transform so is the passion for the sport always going to be there well when you're taking those it's like having a ferrari and getting used to driving that well go back to uh, to riding your bicycle to work you'll be like hmm i don't know if i'll still enjoy it but as opposed to being natural well I've never lived that life. I've never seen people looking at me in that way. I've never had those crazy pumps. I've never repped 315 on the bench. I've never got a crazy pump that my, my skin was going to explode. So of course, that for me, the way I'm doing now, I'm still kind of enjoying it every day because that's the max that I've lived. When I get a crazy pump at the gym, that's just as good as it gets. All right. So, and I'm happy about that. All right. Why would I experience this crazy millionaire life for a week if I know I'll be broke the week after? I wouldn't just, I, I would not enjoy it. So I want to keep that passion for the sport. And trust me, this is an important thing that will just help us keep going and not doing ups and downs, ups and downs. A lot of steroid users, they're not consistent with the gym. Their consistency depends on their cycles. All right. Trust me. I've been around them so much and I'm not judging. I'm just saying so people can be aware. All right. Don't just start taking a, what is it called? Don't just start, a, what is it called? Don't take a cycle and then uh, taking that. It's just a cycle, but then kind of regret your whole life. That's what I was trying to say. I was thinking about something else. Now, next, we spoke about it. The mental strength that comes with natural training. When you're training naturally, you're also kind of seeing everyone else progress a lot faster because you'll see a lot of people taking roids TikTok, instagram you scroll you'll see this guy that is 18 years old and he's deadlifting 700 pounds so you're like whoa that's just crazy i'm just deadlifting 200 and i feel like that's my max well trust me this builds mental strength when you're natural and you're seeing everyone else kind of cheating their way up there but you're choosing to stay natural and stay consistent and just compete with yourself it's just amazing what it does to your mind it's amazing trust me i've been through it and it helped me kind of overcome every challenge of life because that mental strength that i built in the gym and being like you know what i'm competing with myself i'm not focused on the guy on my right or on my left and just keep going naturally for years and years build an amazing mental strength number seven is that you build a crazy muscle maturity when you're natural now a lot of people sometimes they why do i have forty thousand followers i mean the video the time that you're seeing this video i have forty thousand on instagram and i'm nobody i'm just a gym bro all right when i am working out i get a good pump people will be like whoa this guy's physique is just different why it stakes to the muscle maturity that i was able to develop over 10 plus years this is something that won't come from steroids someone can take steroids he just started training his muscle will just blow up it's mostly water all right it's not real dense thick muscle it's mostly water yes the illusion is insane and yes there is muscle and yes the strength is there i'm not saying that it's just water but the muscle maturity those details looking at a muscle and being kind of blown away by the shape and the symmetry this comes from years and years of training. You can also get it enhanced, but you gotta do the years. And when you're natural, you're getting that muscle maturity. And I think this is God's way of telling us, doing it naturally for years, you still can have that muscle maturity. And it's kind of like the, 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 the stamp of kind of success. Trust, trust me, for me, I look at my body sometimes and I'm, I'm, even myself when I'm so pumped, I'm like, whoa. Like it's, there is something about natural bodybuilding that people underrate, undervalue. And the muscle maturity that comes from years of training is just amazing. All right. Next, what are we talking about? We're talking about dependency. A lot of people that start one cycle, they're dependent their whole life. Why? Because it's an addiction, it's still a drug. They're still taking a drug. It's basically a drug addict at a certain point. People that are cycle after cycle after cycle, they're basically addicted to the effects of the steroids. The strength, the adrenaline, the testosterone boost, feeling like they're on top of the world, all right? 
Does it remind you of another drug? Well, it's pretty much an addiction. And when you're natural, you're not addicted to that. You might be addicted to some protein shakes, but it's not the end of the world, all right? So uh, the addiction part, I've seen a lot of people talking about their stories on YouTube saying that they started with one cycle and they never stopped. Why? Because you feel like Superman. Why would you stop, all right? Why also? Because people see you a certain way. If someone knows you as the big, the big man, the strong man, well, how can you show yourself again being kind of half of what you were mental mentally hard so people get addicted to it they hide up until they do their other cycle it messes up their body of course we can talk about the most important pro is that health wise i really believe natural bodybuilding is the healthiest sports you can do enhanced bodybuilding steroid bodybuilding is the most dangerous sport do you see how crazy that is ironically right it's the same sport but some people approach it different way now let's talk about the cons of being natural well i've said it you'll see people next to you people that just started training but they kind of surpass you you're here but they're already here and they they've been training maybe a month and you've been training for years but they're already benching more than you and they're looking amazing and their instagram is blowing up social media it's helping people blow up because you're you're on steroids we see sam sulek everybody more like whoa they want to look like him so it does help getting your presence established but look at me i'm just a gym bro and here i have 40,000 followers, but anyways, just to show that anyone can do it. But it does help. Having steroids can help. Look at The Rock. Look at all the, I don't know, Arnold. Do you think Arnold would have been Arnold without steroids? Yes, there is some cons, and yes, they can help you. But also, at the end of the day, it's a long-term game, and it's about what you want. If your goal is competing also, it's another con of staying natural, because everyone else it's on steroid, even natural bodybuilders. I know a guy that says that he did a natural competition, but I very am sure. I know very well, all right? Uh, sorry, I, I lost the words because I wanted to say a kind of a, a bad word, but I am sure that he's not natural, all right? I am sure about that. In his bio, natural bodybuilder, natural competition. Well, that's, that's a lie. Why would you lie your way and be fake and lie and still he didn't win, so it's just insane to me. But everyone is taking it. Uh, what else, what else? Yeah, if you wanna take competition, uh, the, 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 the competition with others, because you'll be comparing yourself with everyone, so it is hard, it is hard. When, especially when you're 18 years old and you see other 18 years old taking a bunch of steroids and they're, they're double your size, you're like, hmm, I do, wanna, I do wanna try that, but trust me, just hang in there. Hang in there one more year. You know what? I used to tell myself when I was younger, a little bit later, a little bit later. I will do it a little bit later, up until the point that I realized that I didn't need it. All right, so just push it a little bit more, a little bit more. Just reach your natural potential. Try to reach that natural potential and see where you're at. And if you've reached your natural potential and you've been training for over 10 years and now you're just not progressing and you wanna compete, then you do whatever you want in your life. But just push it a little bit more. If you're just starting to work out, trust me, naturally you can get insane results. So there you have it guys, uh, if you've watched till the end, I want to say thank you for watching, thank you for supporting me, thank you for supporting your channel, and don't forget to subscribe, I'll see you guys soon, ciao!